Mars Hydro. Hey everybody, today I'm testing out the Mars Hydro TS1000W Full Spectrum Grow Light. This grow light is 150 watts. I'm going to put it to the test to see if it actually uses 150. But this is the box that it comes in. It's not marked in any way a grow light, so it's pretty discreet. And this box actually is from Amazon. It's a complete kit. And uh, it was inside another box, so it's very well packed and nobody's going to know what you're up to. But anyway, here's what you get inside of it. Uh, what I mean by a full kit, I mean you get a moisture meter, a pH meter, all of this. You get a mechanical timer, and you get the warranty card and instructions. And this is a uh, thermometer, and it'll also display the humidity inside your grow tent if that's what you're growing in. And has this yo-yo kit for raising and lowering the grow light and a six foot power cord. So let me get this out of here uh, and see what we have. But yes, this is just brand new. Two weeks ago it came out. So uh, we'll test it fully. Okay, right out of the box, you'll notice there's no fans on the back of this grow light. They designed this in such a way that the heat disperses evenly and efficiently. So there's no noise for uh, those of you who don't like any noise at all from a grow light. But anyway, here is the LED driver and you're just going to plug the cord into this cord and then you're going to have to plug the LED driver into this hole right here on the end and it'll hook you up to the actual reflector unit. And this is very highly reflective. Uh, let me give you a close look at these LEDs. Here you can see the reflector surface, and I'm going to show you the LEDs themselves. I'll just tilt this up, and that's how they look. Okay, I have it plugged in now to check the wattage. As you can see, it's very bright white, and I'll zoom in, and it is running at 149, which is what they promised, 150. But uh, I have something to show you on the back of this unit, which you can adjust the uh, actual wattage. Now, something they didn't mention in the instructions, on the back, on the LED driver, he had this little, I thought it was a dial. I tried turning it, and it has these numbers around it. I'll zoom in here so you can take a look at it. And what that actually is, this is just a plug, a rubber plug, and you can unplug it and change the wattage with a Phillips screwdriver like this one. And you can dial it up, dial it down, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. Here's a look at that little rubber plug. comes out real easy with your fingers. No tools needed. But let me show you how to adjust this. Now you see here the hole is unplugged. And all you got to do is put your tiny Phillips screwdriver in there and you can adjust the wattage. And this is beneficial because if you're going to be doing seedlings, you don't want so much power. You can put the light closer to the plants without burning them. Uh, this is very nice. I never had a grow light that had this adjustment before. But uh, I'll give you a, a demo of how this looks when you turn it. Okay, I'm just going to adjust it here with the screwdriver. You have to find that little Phillips screw right down in that hole. And right now I'm at 150 watts. And you'll see the difference when I connect with it. There we go. I'm going to turn it down. And you can see the difference in the lighting. I have it down to 38.8 watts. And I'll turn it back up. I'm afraid to go over 150-ish. 
right now I'm 152, 155, 163, and it looks like it tops out at 164 watts. It won't go any further, so uh, I'm not going to leave it that. I'm going to put it back at the recommended setting. Right there. I'm about to hang this up as you can see and have it all hooked up. They just attach right below the driver and you're just going to attach the yo-yo hanger onto these two loops. Alright, I have it all installed and I have uh, two ratcheting yo-yo hangers instead of one just to keep it from spinning around. And also, if one ever fails, then it's not going to come crashing down. And here you can see where I have it attached to the light. And it keeps it square using two. Like I said, I don't like it spinning around. I like it uniform. But, uh, yeah, here I am growing some hydroponic lettuce. And I'll give you a quick look at that. And we're going to also take a temperature reading with this infrared thermometer. So to test out the light I'm going to be growing hydroponic lettuce which I have done before in this old container which I made maybe 11 years ago and it's starting to finally fall apart because uh, these don't last forever. I'd say after oh 10 years they start to crack and get brittle but um, here you can see there is the thermometer that comes with the set and I have the light set above the lettuce at 22 inches and they say at 18 inches it would be 552 par and uh, yeah that's the temperature from that distance but uh, let me show you the temps from the hood up here okay a look from above all that noise you hear is not from this unit this has no fans at all and any noise that you hear is from the pump for the uh, hydroponics and down here there is another unit growing my stuff for outside but the temps from the LED driver came out to 102 degrees from the uh, temperature gun and from the reflector shield that came out to 80.4 degrees which is pretty impressive but it's still kind of hot to touch but uh anyway let me show you my plans for this so what I plan on doing is maybe putting a fan blowing across this up at the top just because it seems a little bit hot and I'm not sure but down here below it is quite cool actually a good temperature for the lettuce and I'll update every 10 days I guess on this so uh, if you want to keep updated on how this performs uh, subscribe and hit that bell to see when I update anyway that's all take care everybody